quiet the first 45 minutes explaining really eloquently what hypnosis was. And I, I, I thought that sounded really interesting. And after about 40 minutes, my clients would start to do this when I was sick and I was getting trance. But I think they were just bored. But I'd still get it one way or the other. Now, when my clients come into the office, I've spoke to them on the phone for about 30 minutes with a screening call. They've filled out a comprehensive questionnaire. But essentially, when they come through their office for the first time, I just get straight into the hypnosis. So, have you ever experienced hypnosis before? Not like from an audio cassette, but like either at a show or one on one with someone? No. How about yourself? I've just seen it in an entertainment. Yeah. I've seen mentalists okay. perform on stage and, and a couple of times and seen people be put under. Cool. So, um, I'm just going to show you some really cool things about your mind today. None of it's scary. I've got no mind control over any of you. I'm not going to make you quack like a dog or bark like a cat. I'm going to show you some really cool things uh, with your mind. Just like I would when my clients first come through the door. Because I have a belief that if I just talk at you, you might retain about 5% of what I say. But then you get on with life. But if you get an experience, if my clients get an experience of when they come and work with me, of something shifting, of something moving, it stays with them forever. So I want to share some of that stuff with you tonight. Would that be okay? That'd be great. Lovely. Cool. So watch me first, then I'm going to ask that you do it, right? But watch me first. Can I get you just put your feet flat on the ground for me? Just watch me first, then do it. In a minute, I'm going to ask that you open up your hands like this. I'm going to ask that you rub your fingers and hands together like you're trying to start a fire. Um, then I'm going to ask that you interlock your fingers nice and tightly like you've got a piece of coal that you're trying to crush in between your palms of your hands. I'm then going to ask that you bend your elbows like you're making a desperate prayer. Even if you're an atheist, you might want to make one while you're there. I'm going to ask that you open up your index fingers, those are your pointy fingers, and just focus on the gap between your fingers and nowhere else. And I'm going to ask that you imagine there's a magnet on one finger and a magnet on the other finger, and they're coming closer and closer together. What I don't want you to do is don't want you to try and make me happy and do it consciously, but, what I, want, but I also don't want you to prevent it. So when your fingers start to move, and they are going to move, just let it happen, want it to happen, but let it happen by itself. Don't stop it, don't pull your fingers away. Just want it to happen, will it to happen, expect it to happen, but let it happen all by itself. If I can define hypnosis in one sentence, it would be this. Automatic response in spite of conscious awareness. And I'm going to show you what that means. So hands out for me. Hands together, now you're trying to start a fire, interlock your fingers, cross your thumbs, nice and tight, bend your elbows. Um, have your hands in front of your eyes, open up your index fingers about an inch apart and just focus on the gap in between because in a minute your fingers are going to touch all by themselves. Just want it to happen, expect it to happen and for some of you they're already touching. Mm -hmm. That's right, awesome. When they touch you can put your hands down, just focus on the gap right there. Just imagine the right fingers moving towards the left, the left is moving to the right, you know when they touch, you can relax totally and completely. Good job! Pretty cool thing, right? It's a cool little thing, and whenever I do networking meetings with people, they love it. It's a good little thing. It's like, wow. Because none of you were hypnotized just then, right? Mm. But yet, something was happening that you were aware of, but it did not feel like you were in conscious control. Is that fair to say? Mm. Cool. That's what hypnosis is. So next step, next thing I want you to do, again, watch me first, and I'm going to ask that you do it. In a moment, <laughs> I'm going to ask that you open up your hands this time about six inches apart. You focus just on the gap between your hands. Again, imagine there's a magnet on one palm, a magnet on the other palm, and your hands are coming closer and closer together all by themselves. Once again, don't do it consciously, but when they start to move, and they will move, don't freak out, don't stop it, don't separate your hands, just want it to happen, expect it to happen, but let it happen all by itself by tapping into your imagination, your focus and your intelligence, because that's really all the hypnosis is. So I ask you to extend your hands out, about six inches apart. Lovely, focus on the gap right there, and close your eyes, and now imagine your hands coming close together. Focus on the gap there, close your eyes, imagine your hands are close together. Focus right there, close your eyes, and just imagine with every breath that you take and every move that you make, your hands are coming closer and closer together all by themselves, just like there's a powerful magnet on the palm of one hand and another powerful magnet on the palm of the other, and they're just pointing in the right direction, and they start to bring your hands in closer and closer together. It's kind of a curious feeling. <laughs> it feels quite good as your fingers move, as your wrists move. When your hands eventually touch, 
you can put your hands down. But just imagine now that that magnet is even more powerful. Just tap into it, see it. If you don't see things too well, feel it. If you don't feel things too well, just hear it. But just imagine they're coming closer and closer and closer together. That's right. Imagine now that those magnets are 100% more powerful and they're drawing your hands in. I can't do this for you. Only you can do it. That's right. And just imagine now that we start to wrap some string around your hands, around your forearms. It starts to bring your hands and your forearms even closer. That's right. They're just a few inches away. And closer. That's right. And closer together. You're almost there now. With every breath that you take and every move that you make, drawing your hands closer. That's right. And closer together. That's right. Want it to happen. Expect it to happen and just let it happen all by itself. Because you don't need to try and make this happen. Sometimes in life you just need to get out of your own way. Because when you get out of your own way, amazing things start to happen. That's right. It's just a few inches away now. And imagine that those magnets are 100% more powerful now. Drawing those hands, those fingers together a bit faster, a bit closer, a bit more powerful. You're doing really good. Just want it to happen. Expect it to happen and let it happen. You're doing great. That's right. As those fingers twitch, so too does it bring your hands a bit closer together. With every breath that you take and every second that passes by, they start to come in even more and even more and even more. Now those magnets are 500% more powerful. That's right. So now they're drawn in even faster as the right hand comes towards the left, as the left hand comes towards the right. That's right. And that string now starts to get tighter around your fingers, around your wrist. It feels nice, but you start to feel that compression there. That's right, you're doing really well. You're a few centimeters away now, because you know that when they touch, you can relax your arms and be in a wonderful place to learn lots of cool stuff here today and learn a new tool that you can put into your tool case to be even better at your job, to be even better with people, to increase your self-esteem and get all the things that you want in a place where you can complement all the other changes that you're making in your own life. Keep your hands where they are. Look at your hands. Good job. Did you do that consciously? No. No? Kind of cool, huh? Good job. Shake it out. Relax. Your shoulders are a little tense. <clears throat> so, um, let me, can I, can I borrow you a moment for this one, Jerry? Lovely. Can I get you just to stand there, uh, put your feet together, face me, um, and don't move your feet. So we get you just to stand lovely where they feet together, beautiful. Um, even more close together, so completely touching, lovely. In a moment, I'm going to rock you slightly with balance. I've got you. You are safe. Just go where I put you a couple of inches and I'll put you back. Cool? Okay. Lovely. So I'm just going to take your shoulders, I'll pull you forward a little bit. So did you feel that you resisted a little bit right there? Uh, I think I'm Yeah. There. Stop it. I got you. Okay, cool. Let your whole body come forward. I'm only going to pull you a few inches and I will put you back. You're nice and safe. I got you. Beautiful. Did you feel the difference? Yeah. Yeah? Did you feel the second time you just let go? Yeah, much, much easier. Cool. I'm doing it. I got you. Beautiful. Awesome. So much different. You're right. I'm going to go behind. I'm just going to touch your shoulder to let you know that I'm here. I'm just going to rock you a little bit off balance from behind. Only a few inches. I got you. You're safe. Beautiful. Very good. Stay right there. You've got your balance, but stay right there. Keep looking forward for me. There you go. Feel this. More. More. That's right. More. Just go with it. That's right. Just go. More. I won't let you fall. I promise. More. More. Just go with it. That's right. I will not let you fall. I promise. Go. More. Don't resist it. More. More. That's right. More. That's right, and you start to feel that. Notice this now, look at this hand, and it starts to start to come up higher. Watch, look at this, it starts to come up higher. As you start to laugh, look at your hand and notice this. Watch, more, more, that's right. <laughs> How's that feel? That's weird. It's kind of weird, right? That's weird, yeah. What's happening with your hand right now? I just feel my, my hand just going up. Notice this, it's going to come up a little bit higher. Yeah, that would be an honest, unconscious movement. That's right. Hi. That's right. Just let it go. But all by itself. Don't stop it. Just let it go. There you go. No more. Because you know, the higher it comes up, the better you feel. <laughs> the better you feel you laugh. 
turns into a giggle, your giggle turns into a laugh and you start to feel much better now. What's going on, Yuri? Your hand stays there. What's going on right now? That's very interesting. My hand just 